NASA is eyeing up a nearby asteroid that contains enough gold to make everyone on Earth a billionaire. The asteroid Psyche 16 is about 140 miles wide and orbits the Sun between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. It has a mass of less than 1% of our Moon, and it contains heaps of platinum, iron, nickel, and gold. The combined total value of all those precious metals would equal out at something like 700 quintillion dollars. If you brought it back to Earth and shared out the profits equally, it would make all of us billionaires. Sadly, it's an economical impossibility. The combined world economy is $86 trillion, so injecting several quintillion into it would cause the whole thing to come crashing down. We've known about Psyche 16 for a while, but its potential to cause economic destruction on Earth was recently touched upon by a veteran miner. Scott Moore, who heads up Eurosun Mining, said the sheer amount of gold in the asteroid threatens to throw the gold industry into chaos. The titans of gold now control hundreds of the best producing properties around the world. But the 4 to 5 million ounces of gold they bring to the market every year pales in comparison to the amount available in space. NASA is launching a mission to probe this asteroid in summer 2022. It is named the Discovery Mission, it will arrive at Psyche 16 around the year 2026. But bringing back an asteroid of this value could completely wipe out our global economy. Fortunately, NASA is taking the trip for scientific purposes and isn't planning on conducting any mining. The asteroid Psyche 16 is a survivor of violent collisions between planets which were common when the solar system was forming. That means it could tell us how Earth's core and the cores of the other terrestrial planets were formed. Deep within rocky terrestrial planets including Earth, scientists find the presence of metallic cores, but these lie unreachable below planets' rocky mantles and crusts. Because scientists cannot see or measure Earth's core directly, this asteroid offers a unique window into the violent history of collisions and accretion that created terrestrial planets. Two space mining companies backed by big names are gearing up for a gold rush after asteroid ownership was made legal in 2015. Logistically speaking, bringing back the whole asteroid would need advanced spacecrafts. It's currently sitting out there somewhere between Mars and Jupiter. The asteroid measures about 140 miles across, and NASA has been monitoring it for a while. 16 Psyche isn't the only asteroid that space mining companies have their eyes on. Asteroid UW158, which is twice the size of the Tower of London, is thought to have a 90 million ton core of platinum, worth around $3 trillion. However, some scientists have warned that the push to start mining in space could pose a major threat to the future of life on Earth. Researchers claim that, unless we preserve our solar system from industrial exploitation, we risk permanently using up all of the resources within human reach within 400 years. At that point, humanity would have only 60 years to engage in mining activities. Once you've exploited the solar system, there's nowhere left to go. As the nearest star to our solar system is Alpha Centauri, which is 4.2 light years away. A distance that would take about 6,300 years to travel using our current technology. Who will get to the asteroid first? China has vowed to dominate this race, and that's an easier game for a country that controls all the major natural resource companies and maintains a tight leash on tech developers. That's not to say that the US doesn't have ambitions here. The difference is NASA is focused on space exploration and scientific missions, and China is focused on a space-based economy that is zeroing in on long-term wealth generation. Even in Europe, where Eurosun is developing a major gold mine in Romania, has its hand in the game. In January, the European Space Agency announced a deal with Ariane Group, the parent company of Ariane Space, to study a prep mission to the moon in 2025. It's got natural resources on its mind. Even a small European country, Luxembourg has 10 space mining companies registered since 2016, with some targeting space ventures to the moon and others eyeing near-Earth asteroids for mining. Do you think we should start mining asteroids and other planets? Let us know in the comment section. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video then make sure to subscribe to our channel.